Hey guys, Scotty here. My original gimbal stabiliser does a really great job, but I wanted it to take even better silky smooth shots, as well as being more pro friendly at the same time. Did I succeed? Let's take a look. The handheld 3-axis gimbal stabiliser used with modern compact cameras has been one of the most significant game changers for independent filmmakers, allowing close to professional results while removing the need for tens of thousands of dollars worth of heavy equipment. But they still lack some key vital ingredients. They don't stabilise for up and down motion and rely on the filmmaker's skill to minimise this motion with their arm. This unwanted motion, or fourth axis motion, isn't always possible to reduce by hand, especially with fast action or walking backwards or on uneven ground. Now the original Z-axis stabiliser does a great job of removing fourth axis or Z-axis motion from your shots, but both myself and others wanted more features to adapt better to the variable camera rigs and shots that we had to contend with on shoots. They needed attachment points for gear such as field monitors, audio recorders and compact LED lights. They wanted toolless adjustment for on-the-go changes as well as attachment points for load-bearing harnesses such as the Easy Rig, so they could film all day in comfort. So then I went back to the drawing board and after many more prototypes and some very thorough testing I'm now super happy with the results. Not only does it reduce the fourth axis motion but I also find it reduces some of the fifth and sixth axis motion too. I'm sure you'll agree it takes gimbal cinematography to that next level. Shots are smooth and flowing and not only can you imitate crane, dolly and pan shots with it, you can also combine these techniques into fluid shots that have that real filmic look. I'm definitely a very amateur camera operator and I've got a dodgy knee as well and even I can get great shots with ease. Imagine what you could do. In this shot I'm actually jogging backwards as you can see in the shadow, but the footage is still buttery smooth. Here I'm standing on a bouncing trampoline and I'm moving about trying to frame the subject. If you ever tried to film someone while standing on a trampoline, you'll realise it's close to impossible to get a smooth shot even when using a gimbal. The backyard is also a good test of an uneven surface thanks to our Labrador's instinct to dig holes. During some of these long shots, take a look at something in the distance and you'll really see how good it is at removing that unwanted vertical motion. If you know a little bit about the origins of Steadicams, you might realise that these shots are paying a little bit of homage to that epic Steadicam shot in the Rocky film where he's at the top of the stairs. And this walking high shot simulates a dolly pan shot. So you're probably wondering what's the difference between this Pro model and the original Z-axis stabiliser? And why would you choose one over the other? Firstly, in tight or close shoots, indoors or outside, where a lightweight and manoeuvrable camera is required, both the original and pro models excel over the many times heavier harness systems. The original stabiliser already does a great job at stabilising 
and previously the only way to beat it was with a full harness steady cam attached to your gimbal. But due to some newly tweaked geometries and some small design improvements in the Pro model, you'll get even smoother results that rivals the quality of stabiliser systems worth tens of thousands of dollars. One of the key differences is that the original's fluid dampening has gone from fixed to fully adjustable varial dampening in the Pro model. There's dual independent dampening indicators so you can perfectly dial it in for anything from silky smooth motion through to the maximum dampening when you're shooting those running like crazy to keep up with your talent kind of shots. Shooting situations can change quickly and you need to keep up. Both models have adjustable spring tension to match your payload weight, but that's where the comparison ends and the toolless design of the Pro model excels. The Pro model can place the gimbal at four different shooting heights thanks to its 200 degree rosette adjustable handles and also the upright and inverted attachment wheels. You can go from a high shot and with one free hand quickly change to an eye level shot. And then with the attachment wheels, you can invert your gimbal for a ground shot for those low to the ground talents. And finally, do a medium low shot. You can play around with the handle angles to dial it into your preferences. The Pro model has six of the quarter 20 attachment points. There's two attachment wheel bolts. There's two front facing nuts, ideal for audio or lighting. There's two handle nuts that can be used with an easy rig load carrier, or maybe move your audio or lighting there too. Here I've put together a few rigs, just to give you an idea about the possibilities with this system. Well, if you've come this far, you know I'm super excited with this new Pro Model 4th Axis Gimbal Stabilizer, and I'm really itching to see what you guys can film with it. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer and you really want this Pro Stabilizer, then you're in luck, as for a limited time, we'll be selling these for a special introductory price of $199 US plus shipping. Full details and links are in the description, and I'll update the current time from order till shipping on a regular basis. If you have any questions, please contact me at the email in the description. Okay, 
Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you guys film with this. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up or post a comment. Bye.